with new people discovering kingdom again looking at what is and what is not can religion live in the kingdom or is it something that has to be completely separated i think um there there's so much that you that you said uh even in your question and it sounded like a compounded uh question a little bit uh, so i'll endeavor to answer it as uh, uh specifically and articulately as i can uh first of all um, what I have come to understand about the kingdom of God is that it is the highest authority there is in the entire universe because the one who resides over the kingdom, the king in the kingdom is the father. Now I understand that Jesus, we, we look at Jesus as the king of kings and the Lord of lords. He is referred to as such, but even he when he was in the fullness of his ministry here in the earth realm, he always pointed everything and everyone back to the Father, okay? Being that he is the one who has basically set the bar and the standard for everything, he's the one who has uh, uh, established the government, which entails its laws, its statutes, its precepts, its concepts, ordinances, testimonies, commandments, judgments, all of those things that make up and comprise the government or the governmental order of the kingdom of God. Okay, so if that be so, one of the things that um, he ministered to my heart is that the kingdom of God will come subject to nothing less than itself. So to ask if any of these religions can exist in the kingdom of God, I would say that a person may enter into the kingdom with those beliefs but at some point, the more you are exposed to kingdom, the more you will be forced to make a decision. Either you will accept kingdom and abide by kingdom, or you will continue to abide by the way that you've been doing things. Now, for the sake of definition, and since I, I love words, and you noted that earlier, I wanted to open up the definition of the word religion as it's given on dictionary.com. This is my main go-to reference. I use dictionary.com and Webster as well. But the definition of the word religion is a set of beliefs concerning the cause, nature, and purpose of the universe, especially when considered as the creation of a superhuman agency or agencies, excuse me, usually involving devotional and ritual observances and often containing a moral code governing the conduct of human affairs, okay? Another definition says a specific fundamental set of beliefs and practices generally agreed upon by a number of persons or sects, S-E-C-T-S. -E um, when you go back and you look at um, the history of what we refer to as different religions, because that's how we were raised. And, and again, we have to look at this from the perspective of how we came up, how we were reared, the environment we came up in, what we were exposed to. All of those things play a part in uh, uh, going back to the, the question that you said that many people ask you, what religion are you, okay? Um, when we look at things from a kingdom-based perspective, or hold on, let me back out of that. So talking about the, the religions and where they got their start, if you look at uh, like the Lutheran, religion that was started by a person correct martin luther when you talk about uh the methodist religion or faith that was started by a person forgive me i, I don't recall uh immediately the gentleman's name who started that but or, or seventh day adventist that was Ellen, day Adventist, Ellen B. Pentecostal, all of these uh oh, they were day. all started by a, a person and, and if you notice and look at each one of those religions they have their own code they have their own moral ethics they have their their own methodology and system and way of doing things they have a way of dictating to people look this is how you're supposed to live like with pentecostals they don't uh, many of them don't believe in uh, the women uh wearing makeup and not cutting their hair and not wearing pants and the men uh being clean shaven they uh most men that i've seen they, they don't have a beard or or a mustache uh, they keep a, a nice, uh, a short haircut and what have you. Um, and the list goes on for, you know, every religion, there's some type of standard or code, mm -hmm. but this is something that men put in place. Mm -hmm. When it comes to us being believers in the kingdom, 
I don't believe God is looking at whether we wear makeup or not. Um, I don't think he cares about the length of our hair, whether it's short or long, whether we wear pants or not, or any of that kind of stuff. First Samuel 16, 7, which is my favorite biblical passage in the entire book, if you will. It's God says, uh, man does not see as God sees for man looks on the outward appearance, but the Lord looketh on the heart. So when we come to him, he's looking at the contents of our heart. Now in coming into the kingdom, the main prerequisite for anyone being in the kingdom, just like it is for any religion is all based on one simple word. And Jesus preached, taught, ministered using this one word a multiplicity of times more than he used any other word that I could find. And that word is belief. It's belief. Every last one of the religions that, that exists on the face of this planet are founded upon beliefs. How we live our lives is based on belief. You coming into the kingdom is based on belief. What is the belief principle? That is whatever information it is that is presented to you from the other side, whether or not you choose to open up and embrace that and make that a part of your lifestyle, how you live, your, your, your system of beliefs. Okay. And coming into the kingdom at some point, because God has a way of, uh, ministering to an individual, if they are open enough to where what you see and experience in kingdom will eventually begin to replace everything that is not like it. Gotcha.